are Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Thank Namine. I think I've been to this town. It's Mickey Mouse. Yay, it's Mickey. Sora. Who's there? Sora. Sora, wake up. It sounds like he's been in water. Judging by the watery sound effects. Which is a bit odd. This is clearly not. Because he would have drowned. Very quickly. It's been a year. Not for these guys, no. <laughs> your voice broke. Sora, your voice broke. You mean we were asleep? I guess we must have been, or I don't think we'd be so drowsy. When do you think we went to sleep? Let's see. We defeated Ansem. Yep. Restored peace to the world. Found Kyrie. Oh yeah. And then we went to look for Riku. I think that's right so far. Henrik. What does your journal say, Jiminy? Gee, there's only one sentence. Thank Nominee. Hmm. I wonder who that is. Uh, well, what do you say we find out where we are? Yeah, why don't we do that? Okay. All the more we did is Roxas, all the leveling up, all the same. Yep, all there. Every last bit. Um, yep, yeah, can't do any of that. So, items, let's see. So, uh, let's give him some ability ring because why not um a journal now it's very interesting there's the characters page um just gonna explain it shows what their first cartoon was which is two weeks vacation little wise hand the wise little hand that are um at 954 says their stuff which is quite good um story we haven't got much so far album basically different important things that happened um, it's normally a picture. Treasure in Twilight Town. The maps of this area. And the character links is basically for every world. And put together. And, you know, Ansem, Kari, blah blah. It's why this isn't there, actually. Um, then, we have character files. So the others, like Selfie, Jiminy Cricket, and Pluto, they're there. Uh, Pluto is first in the chain gang. Selfie, Final Fantasy VIII, Jiminy Cricket, Pinocchio, 940. So yeah, they got that stuff. Um, will it have anything in nobodies? No, it doesn't say. So. Okay, so the amount I killed in nobodies it won't actually state, which is very annoying because that would be like a world record or something. <laughs> oh well. So yeah, I imagine if someone actually grinded to level 100 in just that one area. Jesus! Just thinking about that would actually kill me. That would finish me off. If there was anything that would kill me in this world, that would be it. Anyway, Mithril. So we got the Mithril shard, and now we can move on. It's quite a, it's sort of a dick move, because they send you out here. It's not the first thing you do, is go back, is it? By the way, you can't re-enter the mansion. At least I don't think you can. 
Or am I mistaken? <laughs> no, of course not. I didn't think so. Yeah, I didn't think you could re-enter. I was just thinking. Was like, wait, can you? Maybe I'm mistaken. No, you can't. <laughs> yeah, so, um, they've been asleep for a year. Um, so has entered puberty. Um, his clothes don't really fit him anymore. Uh, what else? He can still only wield one keyblade, sadly. That will change soon enough. You know, I think I've been to this town. In Chain of Memories, What's yes, he did. Hmm. But he forgot it. Obviously. Yes, I must have imagined it. But yes, he did go to Twilight Town in Chain of Memories. They have an interesting life. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, nothing. Just wondering what was back here. Now you know. This is our spot. Um... What? You're new around here, right? I'm Hent. Hainer, nice to meet you. But we got stuff to do, so catch you later. My name's Olette. Oh, I'm that high. Hey, did you finish up the summer homework yet? Independent studies are the worst, huh? Homework? Hey, what are your names? Oh, sorry. Uh, we're Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Hey there. Sora, Donald, Goofy. We just met someone who was looking for you. He sure seemed in a hurry. He had a black coat on, so I couldn't see his face. But he had these big round This ears. bit annoys me. <laughs> Why do they have to think about it? It what shouldn't the... take a second. Where'd you see him? At the station. The station, thanks. <laughs> and well, where is the station? get back to that assignment. Later. Oh boy, the kids tried to find us. Yeah, let's get to the station. And where is said station? Because, you know, these guys wouldn't know where it is because they haven't been here before. And not exactly, you know, signs saying, oh, okay, maybe there's. <laughs> To me, it looks like a giant lamppost more than a station, but, you know, whatever. Let's see how easy this is. Yeah. If they won't move, fine then. I won't try it. Just thought it'd be fun is all. Not what I need to do with cash or anything. <laughs> Because I really don't. No! Yep. This would confuse you if you've been fighting Heartless and you see a different symbol and they look very different. This would confuse you. And with good reason. But, yeah, so this is Sora's first encounter with nobodies and they give you quite a lot of experience actually, so it's worth, worth doing it. I don't know how this works. I think it's a time thing. I might be mistaken though. I'll have to look in a second, but I, I think it is a time-based thing. I think like you're given a set time and then once that time's up, um, you, you know, you, well, it ends. Because 
they seem to just keep coming, so I assume that's why. But I could be mistaken. Been wrong before. Die, all of you. But anyway, yeah, you, as you can see, you can get quite a lot of experience from these guys. This will be the time where I can actually start leveling up. Slowly, yes, but I can start leveling up again. Because I'm actually going to be fighting enemies 24-7, which would be good. I like fighting enemies. Because they're not cutscenes. Maybe it is. Like, because I've never been able to kill them all before. But they seem to do just keep coming, so it can't be, you know. What happens if you do, say, level up to level 100? Can you just destroy them all in, within, like, a few blows? I wonder, actually, has someone been able to do that? Because, I mean, you'll get stuff like explosion and whatnot. That would be interesting. Boring as hell, but at the same time quite interesting. The Majesty? Shh. You gotta board the train and leave town. The train knows the way. Here. Recognize it? The Majesty! Started raining outside. Was that really him? It could have been. Yep, I know it was. Now we know it's okay. Yay. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a lot of rain. Of darkness, right? Uh huh. But we Might just be a bit saw of hail too, actually. Yep. And if the king is here, that means Riku's here. He's gotta be. Well, I'm gonna go look for Riku. Then he and I can go back to the islands together. Kyrie's there waiting for us. What are you two gonna do? Worse, <laughs> Sora. Do you have to ask? <laughs> hey, what's so funny? Your, Your face. face. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> What do you say, guys? Let's stick together for one more journey. To where again? We have to board the train. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. I, I find it amusing how there's one more venture like they were going to part ways, because they're clearly not. They never were going to part ways. Well, also, we got Crystal Law. We also got a Secret Anthem Report, too. I will read them as I get them. Just because of the fact that it will take ages if I read them in one sitting, it'll take like 20 minutes. Wait up! Huh? Well, it'll make so sense, but what? you know. Nothing, but. We came to see you off. It just seemed like something we ought to do. Oh. Really? Thanks. You should hurry and get your tickets. Right. They're the same. Yeah. Three tickets, please. I can't help feeling like we won't see this town again. Why not? You're thinking too much. Yeah, you're right. Right. So, if we go around here, you'll see different stuff like chests. I think there's some kind of mithril. Of some kind, of some kind, some kind of mithril, some kind. Very good English, Chill. Um, no, there is some kind of mithril shard type thing. Not sure which one though. 
Because there are different types of missiles. There's missile stone, missile gem, missile missile shell. There's shells. I thought so. Me and my nerdy ness ness ness. Nerdy nerdy nerdy. Ness 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 ness. ness. Anything else I missed? Nope. Me don't think so. Um, to the journals. Here's um one penny, omelets and haters. Uh, there's story progression. To read the to actually have it like read, you have to look at it all, which is kind of annoying. But Mickey, Steamboat Willie, yay! Gotta love the mixed and similar thoughts. Okay. I have made a grave mistake. Okay, I'm not going to do it in this voice. My study of the darkness of the heart began with a simple psychological test and quickly snowballed. Spurred on by my youngest apprentice, Ienzo, I constructed a massive laboratory in the basement of my castle. Unbeknownst to me, my six apprentices then began collecting a large number of subjects on which to perform dangerous experiments into the darkness of the heart. As soon as I found out, I called my apprentices together and ordered them not to not only to cease their studies, but to destroy the results of their research thus far. What on earth was happening within the hearts of my six beloved apprentices? While pursuing the mystery of, dark, of the darkness of the heart, could they themselves have strayed into its depths? Yet I remain the most foolish of all, for having begun these experiments. We are not meant to interfere in the depths of another's heart, no matter what our reasons for doing so and my error p plunged me into despair. A visitor from another world soothed my dejected soul. A tiny king named Mickey came wielding a legendary key, the infamous Keyblade, said to bring both chaos and prosperity to the world. He was very knowledgeable on many topics, and we deepened our friendship as we conversed a compa companionably, companionably. Upon his advice, I decided to review the data obtained at my basement lab. This was. This is when I discovered the Anson reports. Though they bore my name, the, the only one I had written was number zero. Apparently he had gone on to pen numbers one through eight himself. Yes, the first subject in my foolish experiments. The nobody's new dusk. Slain ten. That's a lie! Um, yeah, if you press triangle you can actually see their art. Well, say art, their 3D model, which is quite nice. Creeper! Gotta love the creepers. So, yeah. That's that. Um. Oh, there's items. Oh, yeah, that'll be Mithril. I believe. And Tent. And Crystal Orb. And Money Pouch. Alright. <laughs> um. So, next we need to talk to. I think Donald. Are you ready to go? Yeah, get on. Get on the train. Now. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're going. Bye. Bye hey, bye. Sora? You sure we haven't met before? Positive. Why do you ask? I hate this scene. <laughs> I don't know. I know it's because he is Roxas and you know, he knows him very well and he's saying goodbye. But I don't care. Why are you crying? You okay? It, yeah. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> Pull it together. Right. See ya. I know it's because it's Roxas crying because he's saying goodbye to them. But at the same time, you know. I don't know. I just don't like that bit much. It's a bit odd. Well, I suppose not. I sort of just explained it to myself without realizing I knew what I was talking about. Oh well. Well then, <laughs> just changed my opinion of my own idea in simple. I know that blah blah blah, and then the realization hit me that I was actually being a moron, and it actually makes perfectly logical sense. I like that scene a lot. Uh, now I like that scene. <laughs> oh, I don't feel well anymore. What happened? I don't know. I just I got ill. Yeah, I don't like being ill. Yeah. 
you know? I'm sad. We'll be back. Yeah, we can visit Hainer and those guys again. No, we can't. <laughs> Creepy train. Seriously, creepy train. <laughs> 